Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to critique my first novel, but mostly just the first chapter. Um, you guys, when I had this idea to critique my my the first chapter of this novel that I wrote in 2009 without any experience, I thought this ought to be fun, and it was. But um, I'm gonna share with you a couple of the things that I found that I think I could have done better, and maybe a couple things that I think I did right. But you're going to see the big mistakes that I made, a huge one, you guys, a huge one that I hope it helps you guys out when you're writing your novel. And, you know, I have no regrets. Um, it's, it, writing is a journey and I think we get better as we go. I am now writing my fourth novel. Well, I finished it and I'm getting ready to send it to the editor, but I feel like each novel I write gets better and better and better. So I just wanted to share with you guys the process. This is my first novel, More Than Words Can Say. It was a YA, um, a young adult fantasy, paranormal. And I, I love the story. I have no regrets about the story. I think the story is wonderful and I am glad I wrote it. I just feel like I could have done better. And I'll also say something else about this novel. This novel, novel I self-published and I did not send it for professional editing, which is a big mistake. So maybe we'll start there. Oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. So maybe we'll start there, you know. I, I'm a strong believer now in professional editing and it's not that I didn't believe in it then I just I guess I didn't really know anything about it remember you guys in 2009 I was writing because I was inspired by Twilight and I just had an idea for a story and I put it down and that you know the rest is history but I did not know what I was doing and I actually I'm pretty proud of myself because not only did I google every single thing from you know what a manuscript should look like, the font, the size, how to edit, how to format. I formatted this entire novel myself. I've learned so much since then. So just because I, I feel like I could have done so much better and I know I can do so much better, it doesn't mean that I didn't do my best at the time. And again, I figured out, you know, how to get my idea in my head to a actual physical book that not only I could hold in my hand but that others read and liked and that makes me happy but without further ado let's go ahead I have my notes here because I didn't want to miss anything um, the very first thing that I'm going to uh, talk about is the showing versus telling aspect of the first chapter I'm just going to talk about the first chapter because I found enough there and, and if you guys like this video and you want to see more then we can go ahead and critique the entire novel but I figured let me start with the first chapter because there was a lot there as you guys know I'm a big fan of Save the Cat Writes a Novel and I wish I would have had that book then but I did a whole series on the 15 beats in Save the Cat Writes a Novel which are the 15 beats that should be included in writing a book and the very first thing I noticed when I read the first chapter is that my opening image is not a mirror image of the final scene of this book. So that's probably one thing that I would have definitely paid attention to is make sure that my opening image would have been a mirror image of the end. The next thing I noticed is how much telling I did and how much internal thought I had in that first chapter. As you guys can see here. Hey you guys, I'm editing the video now and I realized that I forgot to tell you the method that I used to see exactly how much uh, dialogue and description and action I was using. And what I did is I used the color coding method. So for example, if you see things that are highlighted yellow, that means that's all internal thought. If you see things in teal, that means that's dialogue. If you see things in green, that means that's action. And when you see things highlighted in gray, that means that's description. There's a big difference between the two. In between us, I use a combination of all four while in more than words can say, I did it. So let's jump back into the video. It is all internal dialogue. All of it. Let's compare it to Between Us, where Between Us was my third novel that's out right now. And look, you can see here how it varies. You can see the difference between the two novels. In More Than Words Can Say, the first chapter is all internal thought 
And then the last bit of it is just dialogue. It's just a one, two sentences dialogue. Then we go into Between Us where you can see the first chapter has all different kinds of interaction. It has description, it has dialogue, it has action, it has internal thought, it has all the things. So that makes for a really good scene. So the very first thing I would definitely do also is I would not do so much internal thought and I would have switched it and you know, included all the things that you see in between us. The second thing I would have done in the opening image of the novel is I would have shown my character in action. The very first thing is her walking through the halls of her high school and she's uh, talking about how much of an outsider she feels and how she doesn't feel like she fits in and she feels awkward. Well, instead of telling all these things that are going on in her mind, I would have shown it in action. So I would have liked to have seen that and if I had a chance to go back and do it, that's what I would definitely do. So that was the first chapter and the things that I found that I did wrong. Uh, not to mention sentence structure that I feel like I would have done better. I missed commas here and there. I would have definitely had it edited. I mean, there's just a ton of things that I found in the first chapter that I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I put this out. But either way, you know, I did it and that's all that matters. So let's talk for a minute about what I feel I did right. And what I did right is I set the tone for the novel, which is something that you should do in your first chapter. Like I said in the series of Save the Cat Writes a Novel that I did, one of the things that you should consider is setting the tone right up front. If you are writing a comedy, then throw in some jokes. If you are writing a thriller, then, you know, make it suspenseful right from the start. Do something that, you know, hooks the reader or that they know exactly what they're in for. And I think I did that well. It's a teen drama and I think I it shows with all the telling that I did, it definitely shows that it's going to be a teen drama. Something else that I feel I did right is I showed my character not only her flaws, but I showed her life as it is now, which is something that Save the Cat talks about is show your character's life before the transformation starts happening happening before you know that big uh, moment where they have to you know life can no longer be the same they have to embark on this journey so I think I did a pretty good job at starting to set that mood that moment that says um, this is my character's life as it is now these are her flaws these are her insecurities so I feel like I did that well in even in the first chapter all right you guys that is it for this video as I'm only critiquing the first chapter if you guys want to see more leave me a comment below and I will critique the entire novel I will show you guys what I could have done better or what I missed and I don't know, and hopefully it will help you in some way. That is it. I will see you guys in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.